We're going to start uh, answering some of the questions that we didn't get to last month right after, right after I tell you a little bit about this, the perfect storm. I have, uh, I've got some notes here. These notes are basically headlines. What do I mean? What do I mean by headlines? Well, headlines, I, I have unusual things happen to me periodically. I will have like an, a dream or a, a vision or a trance or something happen, and I'll see a newspaper come to me, and I'll look at the top of the newspaper, and it will tell me, I will read the headlines, and sometimes it, it tells me like a month, or it may even tell me a day. Sometimes it tells me a year, but it won't, I won't remember the month or the day. And so I don't, I'm not saying that the headlines I'm about to read to you are going to happen in the same time frame as the perfect storm by the year 2020. I, I don't know, so I can't tell you what I don't know. I'm just letting you know, here are headlines that I have read that came from heaven, and the Lord revealed them through headlines like in the newspaper. For example, one of the, one of the headlines that I, I saw was everything was kind of a black background. I saw a newspaper coming to me like this, and it came and it, and it got, I don't know, several, a few feet away from me, and it stood up on its, on its edge like this. So I saw one half of the newspaper like folded in half. So I couldn't see the whole newspaper, just the headlines at the top of the newspaper. So I get, I get headlines from heaven about things we're going to be reading in newspapers uh, around the United States and, and even around the world in, in some cases. So I thought I ought to do that. I, and I did this because I, um, I have not released most of these at this time. I've been waiting, waiting for the right moment, waiting for the release of the Spirit to do that. I believe that I had that. I, I had this, this uh, nudge, I would say, a nudge from the Holy Spirit to, to do this at this particular time. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe one or more of these things are going to happen in the, in the fairly, fairly near future, within months maybe. So maybe that's it. But I also feel an urgency to, to tell you this. I, and I've told you this before, and I really, I'm, I'm saying it again. Um, I don't want to scare anybody because God has everything in His hands, and He wants to get our attention. He wants to get this nation's attention in particular, and he wants to get the world's attention. He will use this nation to get the world's attention. So we've talked a little bit about, about things that I feel like you need to have. For example, I've, I've told my staff this. I've told my staff, you need to be able to prove the debt that you owe, meaning if you, what house payments you've made, you need to be able to prove, and you need to have a, a, a not... Um, right now, let's just, you don't get your checks back. Most of you, I don't think many of you, if any of you, will get your checks back at the end of the month like we used to do. But you'll get a, a bank statement back telling you the check number that w was received and so on. You need to, ha so you can't take your check and prove you, you paid something. And so let's just say you have a car payment and that car payment is due, or maybe two car payments that are due. Be because you've made one and you've made another one, but they have no record. Somehow, in what's going to be happening in, in, in the future, they're going to demand that you prove you have made the payments that you have made. So you need to have up-to-date proof printed from their website that you made your house payment, you made your car payment, you made that loan payment, if, if that's if you're making payments, you need to be able, able to prove that you've done that. And again, you won't have checks to make for that proof. So you need to have, you need to have something in your hand that's a hard copy from them that tells you you made that payment. I have that. I have every two weeks I go in and I make a copy of what I paid in my bank because I have online payments that I do and so on. And so I just make I make that list and it tells me and it shows me right there, you made your house payment and you paid your utilities and so on. But in addition to that, I've, I've told my staff, you need to have cash, preferably for a month. If not a month, then at least two weeks. You need to have cash, not in the bank. You need to have it somewhere that you can get to it. You need to have it I'm not going to tell you, I'm not even going to give ideas where. Let's just say, not in a safety deposit, in a bank, not in 
not some place that people can easily find it. You need to remember where it is, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty difficult. You go, where did I hide that money? Oh, my goodness. I hid it someplace where nobody could find it. Now I can't even find it. So you need to be able to find, to be able to find that. You might want to tape it to the top of your dresser drawer underneath so that like a piece of paper so it tells you where you where you hit it at something along that nature um, and you'll have to use your own wisdom to do that but you need to have cash on hand because the day's coming when you won't be able to get to that cash you need to have at least two weeks worth of food if not longer I would prefer at least a month worth of food. And even then I would say, if not longer. But then some of you, some of you, you'd store food and that's not what God's telling you to do. Some of you get into a fear issue. That's not what God is saying either. He's just simply saying he wants you to have wisdom and he'll tell you what to do if you'll listen to what he wants. You need to have batteries because if the electricity goes out for a prolonged period of time, you're going to go through batteries like crazy. And you'll need to have batteries that, uh, to replace the batteries that go out. And you'll need to know what type of batteries you need. For example, do you need 9-volt batteries? Do you need AA, AAA? Do you need C batteries? Do you need type D batteries? And so on. You need to, to know what kind of batteries, at least that your flashlights take. So you'll need, you'll need to know that. So every single one of you can have water that you have extra jugs of. You can have cash that you know how to get a hold of. You can have food that will tide you over for a period of time, at least two weeks, if not a month. You can have batteries that, that you, can, you can get to. And then you need to take a look at what I call real needs. Real needs. Uh, this topic, this, the perfect storm topic or the, the things that are going on right now, there is, there's treachery in the air. I just, I don't know how to tell you. And I don't even know all that it means myself. I just know there is treachery in the air. And with that, you need to understand some things that you might go through. Now, what happens in, in Saginaw, Michigan may not be the same thing that happens in Orlando, Florida. And what happens in Orlando may not be the same thing that happens in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But we do know this, that the Lord is giving us some, some nudging of preparation, and I'm, it falls upon my shoulders to do my part. I'm not the whole part. I have a, a sliver, a small sliver of this, but it falls upon my shoulders to do my part to let you know it's time, time to really get prepared. This is such a big topic, we can't cover it on the Streams Ministries website. So we have set up a separate website to cover this, and that website is preparingfortheperfectstorm.com. Simply preparingfortheperfectstorm.com. And on there, you'll see things that disappear from stores very quickly. You'll see real, real needs like real money, what is, what is real money, and how do you do this. You'll see things like, like real personal needs, such as toothpaste or toothbrushes and and that type of thing. Do you have an extra at, at the house? And all this type of thing. So you're going to find that on preparingfortheperfectstorm.com. Under scarce, uh, scarce items. I believe it's under scarce items. So I want to read you some of the headlines that I have not read uh, publicly. Uh, maybe I've alluded to publicly a few of these. Not very many. But it's, um, again, I just feel pressed, I believe pressed by the Holy Spirit to, to do this. Again, I, I wish I could tell you when they're going to happen. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I may have seen a date, but it doesn't tell me whether it's July 17th of this year or next year or September of this year or next year or the following year. Uh, I don't know. So, so as not to, not to cloud things, I'm just going to leave it simply as headlines that I have, that I have seen. And here, here's some of them. And, and if I can, the bylines that go along, along with them. First headline, it's not, this is not the order in which they came, by the way. So 
I, I put them down in the order that they came to my mind, but they are not the order in which they came to me, and they are certainly not the order in which they're going to be fulfilled. So I just ought to say that as well for your sake. Too big to fail fails. Nations bank being pushed. And I don't know, I don't know how all this is going to happen, but because of certain bank failures, a national bank is going to be pushed. Some of you probably have I've seen the episode here on Beyond where I talked about a dream that I had where I believe it was last spring or the summer where I told about a, put, being inside of a senator's body or a congressman's body, having my arm around the, uh, uh, the president comes up and I have my arm around him and he's very skinny, he's very thin and, and he talks about, about funding drying up. And he also, and, and he, said, he said, you need to do what you're going to do quickly because funds are, are going to dry up. And then I, I found myself inside of a Bank of America building. And, that, and the Bank of America building was bustling. And I talked to a vice president there, and a loan officer, vice president loan officer. And he was talking to me. And, and uh, things were going well, like 20, 20 tellers at the, at the windows, a big BOA building, and, and lots of stuff going on inside there. Then the scene changes, and I find myself back in that building. And when I find myself back in the building, I, I look for the loan officer, and the loan officer, I said, how's things going? And he goes, well, um, we're not too busy. That's good. And we're not too busy, and that's bad. Scene changes again. And I go back into that same BOA building. I find myself opening the door, walking into the same B BOA building. And this time I, I look for my friend, the loan officer, but he's not there. And he had quit to go to work for his, found out he had quit to go to work for his family business, thought it was an opportune time, business was down. But I noticed that just like half the number of loan officers and half the number of tellers at the BOA window at the teller windows. So that scene changes, and I'm, I'm back in BOA, the same BOA building again. This time, there's like one loan officer and one teller and a lot of empty desks and a lot of empty windows, and I go, oh, no, it's happened. Now, that, hap that dream came to me in May of this, this past year, and just... Last week, or the week, just the week before, I, or was it last week? I, things are going so fast, it's hard to remember. I believe it was la the week before last that Bank of America uh, sent out notice that it was going to lay off, I believe, 16,000 people by the end of this year. And if I re remember right, 30,000 people next year or next year or just after that. And, the, and I thought the dream that I had is starting to play itself out. So that, that I think may have something to do with the headline the Lord gave me. Before I had that dream, I saw this headline, too big to fail fails, nation's bank being pushed. I believe what's going to happen is they're going to nationalize Bank of America and it will change the entire banking system uh, in the United States, perhaps in the world, when that happens. It will set the precedent for the next phase of, of economic things. Uh, next, uh, next headline that I, 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 not the next one I saw, but the next headline is this, is the infrastructure of America beyond repair, meaning it takes so much money to repair the deferred maintenance that we've had. We don't have the money to do the deferred maintenance any longer. The next headline, the rise and fall of the political parties. New third party gains ground. The rise and fall of, political part, of the political parties. New third party gains ground. Next headline. The Washington Monument tilts more. Delays announced to other monument repairs. It's, it was like repairs that needed to be done on the Washington Monument were delayed because 
the monument started tilting. And not only had, what, apparently, it not only started tilting, it started tilting more than it had. And so delays were, repair, to, were announced. And it wasn't just... It wasn't just to the Washington Monument. It was also to other monuments in Washington, D.C. There was uh, delays announced to, to monument repairs. Then I, I saw this, this strange headline. It said, The Great Divide, the new normal on the Mississippi River. And something, it's like this was a headline after an earthquake. So a little while after an earthquake had happened, and they were no longer able to go all the way up the Mississippi from New Orleans, all the way up the Mississippi. They weren't able to any longer. Somehow something happened with the river in an, in an earthquake. And so they call it the Great Divide and how business was now operating on the Mississippi River since they could not traverse the whole, the whole way up. Um, another headline, Washington, D.C. riots. Washington, D.C. riots continue. That's all I saw. Washington, D.C. riots continue. And then I saw another headline that said, Chicago up in arms. And I believe that had to re refer to something of anger, maybe riots. I don't know. I don't want to suppose too much. I just see, sometimes I see headlines. I just I don't know what that headline means. That's just the headline I saw. Chicago up in arms. Then I saw another strange, or I've seen another strange headline, and it simply said, where's the Navy? Something had happened in the Gulf of Mexico, either the Gulf of Mexico and or on one of the coasts. And it said, where's the Navy? It's like something happened, and the Navy should have spotted this issue before um, it happened. And they didn't catch it. Somehow it got under the radar. It bypassed the radar. It, somehow it got, it got around our protective grid and the ocean protective grid that we have around this nation. It got around that. And I'm not, I don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, another headline I saw was New United America being pushed. It was like, there had to be something economically done with Canada, United States, Mexico, and I'm not sure about South America, maybe, I just am not sure. But for sure, Mexico, uh, the United States, and Canada, an economic issue had arisen, a worldwide economic issue, and our solution, or the solution that was being pushed, was that uh, we become almost like, instead of the United States, it would be United America. Uh, and I'm not saying that's the name of it, but that's, uh, that's the headline that I, that I saw. New United America being pushed. Another headline I saw was GPS loses its GPS. It's as if for some reason the global positioning system, GPS, could no longer worked like it was supposed to work. Something, something happened. Uh, I'm not sure what it was. I, you know, I can always suppose, but I'm, again, I'm trying to limit this to what I saw or saw a byline or caught a sentence of an article about, about what happened. I don't, I don't know what that means. GPS loses its GPS. Another headline I saw was, three planes down from solar tsunami. Three planes down from solar tsunami, and others were missing, but it didn't give a number. It just said, Three planes down from solar tsunami. And then as I read on down in the byline, others, there were other planes that were missing. They were trying to track, track them down and find out what happened. One that I've said, said for a while, uh, I actually had this, um, this. This was actually the first headline that the Lord gave me. The very first headline he gave me. This was in September of 1985. In September of 1985, the first headline I saw was, was this. And this was the one where the newspaper, the first time a newspaper came to me flat and then stood up before me and I read the headlines. And it simply said this, Volcano erupts near Tokyo, 7 million dead, another million missing. Volcano erupts near Tokyo, 7 million dead, another million missing. And I, in this headline, actually it was a little more than a headline, I, I was... I was actually found myself standing 
uh, across from Tokyo on a high, either on a mountain or a high hill or something across from Tokyo, uh, some blooming, a tree was blooming or had, is either blossoming or it, it was just finishing blossoming. A, a high-speed train had just gone by on the railroad tracks a little bit in front of me, maybe, maybe 200 yards down from where I was standing. And I looked across the, the city of Tokyo at a huge mountain in the background that was half covered with snow. The snow was about halfway, halfway down on it. And uh, I saw a, a, a plume of smoke or steam come out the side of, of, the, of the mountain. And then I, a little while later, I saw another plume of steam or smoke come out the side of the, the mountain, the volcano. And then I saw a third plume come out the side of the volcano. And and a short while later, I saw it shake, and I could hear all the noise of the city, the people, the people, the trains, the, the planes going overhead, the, the, just the hustle and bustle of a huge, huge, huge city. But when this thing happened, when it erupted, I remember, I remember saying, oh, this is worse than Mount St. Helens. And it blew, and, it, and smoke and ash came toward the city, but it was like steam, water. Um, it, like, it was, the water was so hot it melted things. When it hit it, it, it wasn't just it blew things over, but there was a melting that took place. And then a short while later, all the noise had turned to... It became muffled, and then it just quiet, absolute, absolute quiet. And there's, there's more details, but I don't want to bore you with all the details of it. But um, I'm concerned because at the time I had that, Mount Fuji was a dead volcano, but today uh, it's now becoming active. That, so I thought it was time I better bring that up, up again. Because one day that, that will happen. Another headline I saw was, City Tunnels Closed After Bomb. A, a bomb went off, and, it, and some, I, some city tunnel, I don't know where it was, city, some city tunnels were closed after the bomb. Another interesting headline I, I saw was this. It said, New Year's Terror was the, the main capture. New Year's Terror and then the byline was, out with the new, in with the old. Out with the new, in with the old. Now, normally you'd say, out with the old, in with the new. But this byline said, out with the new, in with the old. It's like, we said terrorism was dead, but we found out it's not. And so New Year's terror, out with the new, in with the old. Another headline I saw was record set for number of cities with riot curfews. Record set for number of cities with riot curfews. Then I saw another separate headline that said this, martial law to be extended for 30 more days. And it wasn't just one city. It was more than one city. I can't remember what the cities were. You know, it's like one of those things where you remember it in, your, in the experience, but you don't remember it when you come out of it. So I don't remember what the cities were, but it simply said, martial law to be extended for 30 more days. Another headline I saw, severe cuts in number of soldiers. Severe military cuts in number of soldiers. Another headline, nuclear disaster under the high seas. I don't know what that meant, but it said... Nuclear disaster under the high seas. Another headline. Ocean temperature rise spreading. Millions of fish dying. Something, they were trying to find out what happened. And I'm not sure, they, were, they were, had narrowed it down to two or three things. And one of them I remember was like the earth opening and the heat from the, from the earth, like the core of the earth. I'm not saying literally the core of the earth, but deep inside the earth where there's a much higher temperature was being released into the sea at such a rate, the, lo- the crack of the fissure was so large, they were thinking that that's what was causing the o- ocean temperature to rise. 
and there's millions of fish dying. The picture I saw was whales were dying, uh, walruses were dying, porpoises were dying. And this happened in the Pacific Ocean, in the Pacific Ocean. Another headline I saw was blight in grains spreading. Blight in grain spreading. There was, and, and it was like, there was almost, um, you would think one blight was done and another blight would hit a different type of grain. More than one grain was affected. Another headline, drought continues to cause prayer to rise. So drought continues to cause prayer to rise. Another headline I saw, NFL postpones all games until answers found. NFL postpones all games until answers found. Another headline read, Does God play softball? Hail the size of softballs, destroy thousands of homes and autos. Don't know where that was, but does, does God play softball? You might remember, uh, those of you that have been watching since we've been on, I, Mike, how long have we been on now? Year and a half? Year and a half that the Lord had me talk about hail, more than two feet of hail that would fall on the flat ground. More than two feet of hail would fall on the flat ground. That happened in April in, uh, in, north, north, uh, in the panhandle of Texas, I think up near Amarillo. Uh, two feet of hail, on, on, it wasn't two feet actually, it was four feet of hail. And I, I just saw more than two feet, what, what I heard, more than two feet, and it ended up being four feet of hail, fell on the flat ground in April of this year, 2012. You might remember that, or you might go back and check that, but you'll find out it's, it's accurate. And so that, that already came to pass. Another headline I saw was, the new North Pole is found in North Russia. The new North Pole is found in North Russia, meaning the North Pole had so, uh, the, the, uh, the magnetic North Pole had moved so much that it was no longer under the North Pole. It was in Northern Russia. It had shifted by that many, many kilometers. Cyber attack cripples grid, multiple collapses with restart efforts. So cyber attack cripples grid, multiple collapses with restart efforts. Don't know what that, where that was. Uh, I don't know what grid that was. I just know that was a headline. Another headline is said, Politics and Trust, the New Oxymoron. Politics and Trust, the New Oxymoron. Meaning, I guess that means that the time's coming when we won't be able to trust the political leaders to do what they say. Uh, another headline, what other secret weapons does Israel have? Has Israel played all of its cards was the byline. What other secret weapons does Israel have? Apparently they had one and did something or if they somehow it was found out about. And uh, then the byline was, has Israel played all of its cards? Another headline was loss of identity. The cost to belong to the new Euro community. The loss of identity. The cost to belong to the new Euro community. Another headline was, Radical solutions create shockwaves. Administration says we ran out of answers. So radical solutions create shockwaves. Administration says we ran out of answers. So it's like they... They tried everything they knew to do, so they had to do something they'd never thought about doing, never thought really that was that wise. I'm not sure, but it was obviously shocking to people what the solutions or what they went on went on to do. Another headline: Israel, if missiles hit Jerusalem, Mecca will be hit within minutes. Israel says, if missiles hit Jerusalem, Mecca will be hit within minutes. So it's like they were using that as a protection mechanism. So another issue of, of drought, but this one said, record high temps accompany record drought swept south. 
Record high temps accompany record drought swept south. Another headline, demand for classic seeds skyrocket. Demand for classic seeds skyrocket. Another headline, derivative panic hits global markets. Derivative panic hits global markets. Another headline, food prices lead nations escalating inflation woes. Food prices lead nations escalating inflation woes. And then this one kind of, this headline kind of came just not that long after that, and it said this, Cisco and Kraft considers guards on delivery trucks as food nears 40% of the family budget. Cisco and Kraft considers guards on delivery trucks as food nears 40% of the family budget. And a little bit of what I remember reading, I didn't get to read much about it, but a little bit of what I remember reading had something to do with food was so expensive, people would, um, people would actually rob food trucks while they were, the driver would be in delivering the food into the store. They, they would uh, rob food trucks, not, and, it's, and they would lock, they tried locking the trucks with padlocks, so the driver had to come out and unpadlock the truck every time. But then they were also beating the truck driver and robbing the food truck, and also using some type of a, a torch or a saw or something that while the driver was in, then the, they had this lock mechanism that I guess was hard to get to, but they just cut a hole in the side of the truck. They just cut a hole in the side of the truck and went into the side of the truck through the metal of the truck and took the food out while the driver was delivering, delivering the food. So Cisco and Kraft apparently one day are going to consider guards on their delivery trucks. Another headline I saw that caused me great concern was simply this. It said, big regulations hit small banks. Big regulations hit small banks. Another one said, simply said, credit markets freeze up. Credit markets freeze up. And then the last one I'm going to read tonight was this. It said, the new face of Robin Hood. Flash mobs loot rich neighborhoods. Flash mobs loot rich neighborhoods. So those are headlines that I felt I needed to start sharing and uh, this is one of those places where we're going to probably put it, we're going to put it on the, on the Preparing for the Perfect Storm uh, website. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably have it up for a while uh, under news on the Streams Ministries website as well. Uh, because it's, I need to, to let people know, for whatever reason, uh, that these headlines are out there and they'll be They'll be reading some of those headlines before, before too long, I, I'm afraid.